Morning. Welcome to Island Life. It's actually raining as we speak. Yes, it is. Good morning. No. Can we stop off? No, not not in it. So we're in Shargal. What are we, doing? we just we're in Shargal. Yeah, we're starting it here because we've stayed in the most beautiful place. We're going to do a video on this place, but if you're a family or if you're um, maybe just a couple or on your own and just want a bit of peace away, only 15, 20 minutes away from like the hustle and bustle of the General Luna, this is ideal. We're actually at the base of the sunset bridge where everyone goes to watch yeah. the sunset so we're really close to there also oh. sorry i've got a bug in my leg yep i know life we've got a pool we've got a villa so we've got a private pool as well which is a little small one perfect for night uh he didn't really fall in and drown last night but that's fine he's all right you all right now yeah he's good <laughs> they've got kayaks they've got uh wakeboarding they've got surfboards you can use and take out it's, the vibe here is really nice the people here are great very very helpful so we're gonna go and explore today okay. come with us <clears throat> Good morning, Good morning. a bit wet absolutely sopping but probably the only place in the world that i'll be happy in the rain or the thunderstorms it's on an island because it's, it's actually the sun's out beaming on us but we're soaking wet <laughs> You okay now? Okay. You get all good? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go and have some breakfast slash lunch at a place called Shaka, which is down on the beach in this cloud nine bit. Oh. It's leaves. Oh no, it's look at the cakes. Oh. No, 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 no. So daddy can't have any? Show no. no. mummy what it is, chocolate. So I said this over on our Instagram. They have rice straws over here, which is such a good idea. Why do we have those ridiculous uh -huh. paper ones? And this exists. What's your coffee? I don't know, what did I get? Ice caramel latte, I think. I don't know why, I've never had an ice coffee in my life and I've had about five since I've been in Philippines. Quite enjoying it. Oh, wow. What's this one? Oh my god. Is it good? That's ridiculous. So, try something. Wow, that looks incredible. Salad. Thank you. It's the first salad I've had since I've been here. I think I've just been living off of a uh, grilled pork belly and barbecue chicken. Look at this, and I don't really know what it is. So this is mango sticky rice. It's a bit like rice pudding. Delicious. Is it? Wow. And this dragon fruit smoothie bowl. Wow. So what we've got? We've got a couscous and falafel bowl. Hello, did you order baby Sino? Baby. We ordered some watermelon now, please. You know what? But this is actually really tasty. Very good. What are you doing there, nice? Oh, baby. Oh, what's baby? What's baby? Dinosaur Rex. Baby Dinosaur Rex. Play yeah. Tyrannosaurus Rex. What's baby? Yeah. So this bit over here is Cloud Nine. So this is where people do surfing and all the water sports. You can see it's not like an ideal beach, but it's it's got the waves. Not that I know anything about surfing, but I know you have to have waves. <laughs> She's got a key, yeah. Key. Got now you can see here island life because it is glorious sunshine now. Go to the next place. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is how you can tell that the uh, the fish is fresh because they they bend straight when they're straight taken out of the uh, mm -hmm. out of the sea when they're dead. When they get all floppy, that's when you know when their eyes go all cloudy. It's not fresh. Uh, white napa because it's white. Red snapper because it's red. <laughs> We thought the tenna was going to be really touristy, but it's so local, it's the complete opposite. It's really cool. So we're going to get some fruit to take back. I think we're going to get some bananas, mangoes, and some apples. I love it, we don't have these in England. Like this. Got the goods. What you got? Mangoes, papayas, calamansi, apples, vanai, and bananas. Bingo. Bingo. Lovely. Can you see nine eyes? Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah. So this is Sunset Bridge. Why is it called Sunset Bridge? I have no idea. That was a proper mum joke, wasn't it? A bit embarrassed about that one. So there is so many people lining this road either side. And there's loads of people skateboarding. Everyone's got their mopeds down here. You're gonna clap for him. Ready? Whoa! Clap, 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 clap. So we're in a place called Bravo. We're gonna, gonna have some dinner. It's supposed to be really nice, so Laura's booked this earlier, so we definitely have a table. It's quite busy here. Look at the big leaf. It's a really big leaf. Look. Look. We haven't taken our shoes off for a good while. We've got a reservation for six o'clock for a bit early. Hello. Hi. Uh, Hello. 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 Hello.
some spice. Oh, you want spice. Spicy is mint, by the way. I feel like I could get used to this no shoe life, you know. I like it a lot. Hello, Nine Nines. Hello. It's more of a traditional breakfast place, so there's no smoothie bowls, there's no acai, there's no falafel, but there is every single kind of breakfast from everywhere in the world is possible. <laughs> there's like an Australian breakfast, an American breakfast, an Israeli breakfast, a Hungarian breakfast, a Hungry sailor breakfast. There's lots of a surfers omelette. I feel like we're becoming like breakfast reviewers in this series. <laughs> Good boy, Nine Eyes. Say enjoy. Enjoy, dog. So we're on the way to the rock board. It's literally just started. Man from Bunko. Man from Bunko. It's just started literally tipping it down. So we've come into the um, petrol station to to cover basically. Now we've just found out that it's actually gonna take, well, it might even take two hours to get there. So we are gonna take a road trip, maybe stop a long way, see what we can see. Come with us. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go down. Let's go down. Come on, Stacapo. Just here? Okay. No, no, are you excited? How excited? So excited. So excited. Okay. We're here. You pay at the top. I'm not sure if you pay as you go in. But if you are driving a moped down here, don't stop at the first parking. You can literally park here, which is like there, very close. So skip a couple of parking lots down. There's some food, there's clothes you can get, snorkels and all the rest of it. So, oh, I can see the rock hole. It looks pretty good. Hey, hello. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Such a beautiful place. I like that they don't use plastic bags here again. Let's go. Look, can you see them all down there, Nana? Look. So they've got about six or seven different restaurants up along the top. Wow! <laughs> 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 
They're always say mac mac pom cock dog. Mac pom cock dog. Yeah. It's very, very busy here. I say very busy. It's probably, it's probably not even busy for it here, but I'm used to not used to seeing this many people. <laughs> what do you think of it? I think it's great. <laughs> look at these. If you look out there, obviously the huge waves break over the rocks. And then this is just really calm. Yeah. Perfect really, because at this side of the of the island, this is the open sea. Yeah. This is the, uh, the Philippine Sea. So the waves are really high and it's really, really rough. But this is just perfect. I like it a lot. Yeah. I'm going to jump off a 45 foot uh, rock up there. So. Just to show these pups how it's done. <laughs> This bit over here is really, really good for kids. There's also a bit over here which has got a bit of stronger current in it. So, better for adults. You see, Baba? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Aquaman's in full swing over here. The old snake thing, look, coming up the side. And there's a crab. Oh, yeah. There's a crab. Oh, that's a crab. You see? The crab. What? You see? Yeah, it's crab. The eggs crab. Yeah, that eggs crab. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Yay. Well, look, that's like there. Is it best to wait it out? What, the weather? Yeah, yeah. because that's going to come. Yeah, for sure. So we're not, we're not going to beat it. Yeah. So when it hits here, it's going to hit where we are. Yeah, we might as well have something. Yeah? Okay. That rain is what we're referring to, by the way. Hi. <laughs> I love my fish. I think there's a chap here gutting some. Hold on. Well, we might be opening some shells. Let's see what he's got. Hello. Come on, Capo. Oh, what's this? Scallop? Uh, it's not a scallop, it's a Dwai. Dwai? Dwai, yes. You buy it there at Mahasin River, you know the Mahasin River? You buy it there, so many there. Ah, yeah. okay. Okay, nice. Yeah, you buy it, uh, I think maybe in one, in one, one this one. I think maybe it's a 50 pieces already. Okay. Yes, very cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have and they cook, they grill, um, or or, yeah, in, or, or in a soup. Pilau, it's big. Ah, okay. Wow. Salamat po. Okay, you're welcome. We got your sunglasses on. You look so handsome. <laughs> what I love about these places, right? The locals know the weather so well that they just know what to do, what to do when the rain's coming in. Destination for dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually raining in 
inside now, it's raining that hard. <laughs> What are they? Huh? What are these? This is called this one. I don't know if you're to pronounce it. What? You know what it's made from? You don't know? Cassava. Ah, thank you. Oh, a food. Do you want to try it? It's like a big nacho. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so this lovely lady just bought us. What was your name? Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Rachel just bought us. Thank you. So what is it? Delicious. Can Daddy have some? Yeah. No? Sure. Oh, sure. Thank you. wow. Mm. So, <clears throat> team, how did we find it? Stop. Stop. What a great trip. Very, very important though. This you have to know before you come here. Make sure you read, just Google tired times and you have to go in the low tide because otherwise it looks like that. You can't even see the rock. Very, very, very important. Otherwise they won't even let you in. Excuse me. Otherwise they won't even let you in. <laughs> Is he dancing now? Right, so we're in the room. This is the view. Nice cheeky little pool, beach down there. Today, 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 we are back in action. We're gonna go and do a food tour of Chargao because there are so many restaurants here, it's unbelievable. And we've been here for a week and we've tried pretty much most of the decent restaurants. So we'll let you know where to eat, what you can expect, and then you make your own decision from there. Right, I'm gonna give you a quick pan. This is how we live. It's disgusting. Don't do that. And I'm very proud of it because we live out of suitcases six months of the year and we have a three-year-old. If you think that we're unpacking, hanging up, folding. Mommy, mommy. You're very mistaken. If you think Lawrence has ever touched an item from the case, no, he hasn't. We've all got roles in these relationships. Mummy is the uh, the backbone of the organisation. She makes sure everyone's needs are met, apart from mine. Jake and Tiff are great. Loved them from months ago. I'll put their one here like, as well. They're like a younger, hotter version of us. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well said. They're a younger, better looking, cooler, nicer, better just, body. just, just better everything than us, really. <laughs> Uh, so, Shan, Jake and Tiff, we love you. It's a bit creepy, really, because we haven't actually met them, <laughs> but we love them. This is Shaka. This is where we had breakfast. It's really, really, really popular for breakfast. It's beautiful. It's on the beach. The food's amazing. It's very healthy living food. It's smoothie bowls. It's like maca powder. It's, you know, acai, that kind of vibe. It's really popular, but it's worth noting that it is no meat here. So here, basically, they have a few different eateries in one place. They've got a really like clean eating place down here. They've got Lashon up there. But around here, now we haven't managed to actually get in. <laughs> we haven't actually, of course, get the life out of me. We haven't actually managed to get in here because it's so busy every time we've come. There's a place called Las Veritas. This place is always packed and always packed with locals and it looks like to be like a Mexican uh, tacos that kind of place but I don't know if they do other stuff as well but it's always packed if you can get in there get in there this place we've got to tell you about because we came here just by chance it was packed so we thought we'll try that it's gonna be lovely this is 
Um, it says Italian Filipino comfort food, but it's basically Italian food. The owner is Italian. Everything is like properly fresh made pasta, lasagna, like it is gorgeous. Literally, it's probably the best lasagna I've ever had in my life. This restaurant here, I had a pasta, shrimp, it's not very good. It looks really nice, looks very clean, it's very popular, but I didn't have a great experience in there. The pasta was very oily. Some people might disagree, but I didn't have a great experience. One thing I would say, we did wish for, because it's been raining on and off since we've been here, but it's, it's like 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour showers, and then the sun comes back out. I thought, oh, it'd be really nice to have a really clear day. No, it's so hot. Clear blue skies, but it is absolutely sweltering. So I'm praying for some rain. Right, next restaurant. This is another really famous place to eat here. It's called Bravo. They've got a, um, it's a really, really nice resort actually. They've got a little skate, I don't know what you call it. Not a half pipe, a little skate thing at the front. But then when you go in, it's actually quite like upscale. It's got a bit like really beachy, it's lovely. It's got a little pool, it's, it backs onto the beach. The food is really, really good also. I would say my favorite restaurant here. This is where I got the Thai from for, for Elise and Nye yesterday. The prawns are really fresh. I'm just gonna have you, uh, show you a quick look around inside. I would say it's exactly the same prices as all the rest, but the quality it's just so much better. At least said the Thai food was incredible. So definitely recommend this place. Had a great time. Hello. So La Mesa, fully recommend. The guys are lovely. It's a nice bar, great food. <sighs> this one's a good one. That sweat is real. Okay, we've just arrived off the beaten path. It says pool party five to 11. Happy hour all night. That's what we like. So many surfboards. This is awesome. The Musta Capital. Hello. Is the restaurant open? Yeah. Okay, good breakfast? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Just got here, it's actually closed for breakfast, but I'm gonna stick around for half an hour and then they'll be open for lunch. So we're gonna have a very early lunch. Manas, what did you say? I want you to miss it on the clock. Oh, listen. I miss it on the clock. Oh, Everywhere's a zoo in the Philippines. It's a toaster, you be careful. What did you order? Bruschetta and a carbonara because... He loves the carbonara. This is an accurate representation of Lawrence, ready? <coughs> I want to eat this carbonara but I can't because I'm not going to eat it because it's not made of eggs, it's made of cream and that's not how proper carbonara is made. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to go from here after we've eaten, we're going to go to the market where we went the other day, if you've seen that video, and we're going to pick up some fish, we're going to pick up some shrimps, we're going to pick up some fruit, we're going to have a little barbecue at our place because it's about high time that we showed you our place because we have been saying it every video. And it's really cool. So if you come to Shagat, it's a cool place to stay. There's not a lot. I say there's not a lot. In the bits, it, it's quite Western, the food. There's all different kinds of food. They love an Italian here. They love loads of different cuisines. But there's not necessarily like a really famous Filipino restaurant. We really want to try proper Filipino food because everywhere's just got Western food. This evening we are going to track down a traditional Filipino restaurant and we are going to eat there and we're going to love every minute of it. I'm going to ask you a question now. Lawrence is going to answer for you. How many of the Philippines' 7,000 islands are inhibited? In unhabited? Have got people on it? Yes. 200. 1,000. What? 2,000. 2,000 islands? Yeah. Wow. We're going to visit all of them. Take off the leaves. So the best thing about having a Lawrence is you get to eat his food as well. Oh. 
And the best thing about having my, a child. My pizza. Oh, it's my pizza. It's my pizza. Oh my god. It's my pizza. Yeah, it's probably one of the best pizzas I've ever tried. Is it your pizza? Yeah, that's it. He doesn't want to share that. Excuse the side breast. Okay. Looking good so far. I like the texture. Very thick spaghetti. Needs a bit of pepper. It is really good. It tastes almost like a bit Chinese, a bit Indian. The glaze, the garlic rice. Always a winner. We have the pepper. Okay. We missed the market. But there are a few. We've got some tuna, some long fish, we've got some fish here, we've got some squid. I was hoping there was going to be more, but we're too late. These sardines and a squid. I get some fish. We're going to cook that on the barbecue. Barbecue. So we're just going to run in and get some watermelon, some pineapple, some apples. Salt, pepper, lemon. Salt, pepper, lemon, garlic. Just going to do a bit of prep, cut some fruit up, cut the garlic up. Oh, look at that. Mangoes. Papaya. Lemons and garlic for the fish, which weirdly come individually wrapped. We're gonna have a walk round to the big pool, shall we? Big pool. So on our little terrace here, you can see we've got a little private pool. We're gonna go around to the big pool where the barbecue is. There's Chef. I've been summoned to provide food for the family. Yes, yes he has. Yeah. So we're gonna show you, come with us. Oh, it's okay. What do you want? Oh, the rubber ring. Let's go on there. I'm going to try and cook some mackerel. No idea how it's going to come out. So, let's give it a go. All of you that are barbecue fanatics, you're cracking up and probably cringing, but we're going to get it cooked, believe me. Daddy's got some pizza. Daddy's got some pizza. Daddy's got some pizza for you. Yeah. Pizza. Come on, him. And fish. Wait. And fruit. A fish. No more. No more. You don't want the fish. Oh, delicious. That looks much nicer now. Well done. Have a little taste. Taste test. Oh, yeah. Yeah? 
Oh yeah. Oh yummy. We stopped at a few places. No one knew where there was some authentic Filipino food. And we just drove past this place. On the menu, they had everything we wanted to try. Ballet you have. Lawrence is losing the will to live slowly. Oh nice on the table please. Now watch us eat this super fast because we're going home and going to bed for an early flight and everybody needs a nap. Me good. We've ordered pancit, we've ordered sissy, and we've ordered inse 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 Which is the leg and thigh. Which is the bar the barbecue leg of the chicken. Lawrence is on the edge. Dies on, on the, the edge, edge of a tantrum. We'll be on the edge of a cliff in a minute. <laughs> Very dramatic. The whole thing is called Pancit Canton Wissiado. Perfect pronunciation. But my friend who's Filipino who lives in England told me to try Pancit. A little bit closer, like that. Go on, karate kid. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's far off. I'm on the edge. Sometimes you have one of those days. And I'm having one of those days where... It's been a great day. But it's one of those days where... Everything's just a bit... Just like getting that sentence out. Just a bit of an effort. We're up at five o'clock in the morning because... Um, Someone likes early flights, so that's, that's good. I'm here for that. So, up at five. Um, what will they have traveling? 12 hours? Two flights and about seven hours in the car. I'm going to try the chicken because chicken makes me happy. Just like a chip, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, so I can put it in your mouth. The sweet sauce that they put on it. I don't know what it is they use. But it's really tasty. It's Fantastic. Tasty. Moisture. Juices. Flavour. Thumbs up. Very happy with that one. Okay, sissy. Alright. Sissy. First try first time trying sissy. Let's see how it goes. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's a... Almost like black bean sauce. You know, like uh, if I'm Chinese, you get the black bean sauce. Daddy. Daddy. Onion. Dad, Dad. Mm -hmm. Mommy. Bits of meat. Mommy. Oh, nice. Very Mommy. tasty. I have been, I'll be honest with you. I, I have been putting this off because so it's pig face unfavorable pieces of the pig I knew I had to try it but I was putting it off but there was no reason to put it off because this is absolutely delicious so this is basically noodles egg noodles with chicken sausage it's like different stuff that they can put in it and, and loads of veg basically and like a sweet I'm a noodle girl. This is very nice. I like that a lot. So have they actually lost it? Like fully lost it? Yeah, so I don't know. They don't know. They've got to try and find it. And then what, they'll send it to us? <laughs> Hopefully. My God. That was hard work. <laughs> Seven hours on a bus, two planes. We're finally in El Nido. Oh. This is how we feel on the inside. Good morning. It's very dark. It is 5.40. We're on the way to the airport. This is going to be a very, very long day. If you haven't been to the Philippines, 
travel if it takes a long time. It's 6.30, we're just checking in for our first flight of the day. How are you feeling? Oh, great. I think it might be another propeller plane. So Lawrence always carries our electronics, all our editing stuff, computers. So he's over there having his bag searched. Fairly normal for us. Do you remember a time, parents, when uh, you didn't have to take so much stuff with you just to get on a flight? If you didn't see our video a few videos ago, Lawrence really doesn't like flying and he really doesn't like flying on propeller blades. Hopefully you can hear me, it's very loud. So me and Nine Eyes sat here. Lawrence is sat all the way over there. I never, I got into the habit of not checking seats basically because you always have to pay extra to, to book seats but we always sit together anyway because we have nine. But it's like we're not. What I was trying to say about the airport by the way is there isn't really anything there. Um, there's like no shops, I think like you just literally sit and get on the plane. So bear that in mind. flight in about two hours to Palawan. Then we've got like a five hour journey in the car <laughs> to El Nido. It better be worth it El Nido. It, it better be worth it. It's cost us a bloody fortune and it's taken all day. Lawrence is looking to book our hotel for the night for the next few days. If you didn't know, we are very, very last minute. We booked everything last minute, so we can stay flexible. So I made Lawrence rush down here because I like to get to the check-in gate when it says it's going to be. Because the last few flights we've got, they literally board like an hour before, so like before they tell you to come to the gate. We've just got here, and the flight before is still here. You can't hear us, but we are at the airport, just landed. We've got an umbrella for nine eyes because it is steaming hot. El Nido, you better be great. So it appears that they've left our buggy in Cebu. So Lawrence is just in there in the airport, filling in a form. Hopefully we get that back at some point, but nice fully asleep. So have they actually lost it? Like, fully lost it? Yes, they've lost it. It's no longer in their possession. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so they I don't know, they don't know. They've got to try and find it. And then what, they'll send it to us? <laughs> Hopefully. Now, we're starting a five hour 
car ride basically to El Nido. That's how long it takes. It cost us 700 pesos each. We're all set up, ready to go. So hopefully we get there for like dinner time. So we're a third of the way there. It's really, really... Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. And, you know, you can do it with just a couple, but with a knife. <laughs> yeah. That funny. Lawrence has had to take the full run because I felt we were really sick, so I had to keep my head completely still. The woke really yeah, to uh, get to sleep all the way. So, that's, uh... so if you're going to do this, do think about it because it's quite a lot. My God. That was hard work. <laughs> oh Seven hours on a bus, two planes. We're finally in El Nido. Oh. If you can get a flight direct to El Nido because that was gross. That was gross. Treacherous. Five and a half hours. They had to drive like 60 mile an hour. It was bumpy. All the way and it's bumped and it's It hell. was windy. Yeah. It was really gross. It wasn't fun, but we're here. We're here. And yeah, it would better be bloody be worth it, I tell you that. It looks really cool. It's pitch it black cool. obviously, but yeah. we're going to have some sleep, get up in the morning, yeah. go and explore. Yeah. And then the day after we're going on a boat tour. So yeah. we've got lots to do in El Nido. Yes. I should quickly say the reason why we did it this way is one, it was three times as expensive to fly to Manila and then get a plane from Manila to El Nido directly. And when I say three times, I mean like the difference between 500 pound and like 1,500. Also, <clears throat> the flights aren't that regular. So we would have had to stay in Manila tonight and it would have like obviously taken a day off of being here. So we did it this way, but we paid 500 pounds for all of us to get from Chargao to here, so two planes. That's not including the taxi. The taxi was <clears throat> 2,100 pesos. This is how we feel on the inside. <laughs>